In this lesson, we'll learn how to create our very first C program. I'll open Notepad++ text editor. You can see I already have empty text file, so I'll go to the file menu and select save as. What I'm doing here, I'm going to save the file before I type the source code. I'll go to the desktop. I have a folder called C. Inside that folder, I have another folder called ch1 so I'll open that folder and here I'll type the name of the file which is hello and the file extension or the file type should be .c now it is very important you should type the file extension as .c here and then you can click the save button to save the file and you can see immediately the file is saved before type the source code I'll go to the settings of the Notepad++ application and select Style Configurator. Now in this dialog box, you can change the look and feel of the application. Now I'll change the font here to something that I would like to have that is uh, yeah consolas will have consolas and the font type is consolas and uh, the font size can be a little bit bigger so it will be clear when we type actually we need to change it to the global settings so make sure these settings enable global font and global font size make sure these checkboxes are selected and click save now you have bigger fonts okay so now what we need to do we type the source code first of all I'll type hash include and then open angle bracket stdio dot h close angle bracket now this is known as preprocessor directive I'll explain what is preprocessor directive statement later in this chapter so I'll go to the next line and type int main open bracket and void open curly brace and then you can type print f open parenthesis double quote hello comma programmer close double quote close parenthesis semicolon presenter and closing curly brace before the closing curly brace you need to add another statement that is return statement return zero and now I'm going to save the file and then I open command prompt now I use the command prompt to compile the file first of all I need to go to the desktop where CD desktop so CD is known as change directory so it is a DOS command that we use to change current directory to another directory and then I have a, another CD C and CH1 so I'm inside the folder where I have saved now if I use the DIR command you can see the files inside that ch1 folder which is hello.c we have only one file there so now I need to compile this file hello.c file so I'll type bcc32 and a space and then the name of the file hello.c make sure you type the file extension also and press enter and you would see the command prompt output and it shows that the boolean compiler is activated 
and it has compiled so if there are any errors it will show the error but in this case you can see we don't have any errors so the file is compiled properly now let's see what are the files we have inside that folder so I'll type dir command you can see you have several files before we had only one file that was uh, hello.c file now we have three more files .exe file .obj file and .tds file so these files these three files were created by the Bolan compiler so now you can run and execute the executable file which is the exe file so I'll just type hello you don't need to type e.exe because it is an executable file so just type the name of the file and press enter so you can see the file is executed and it shows the output as hello programmer now let's try to understand this source code we'll take a look at the first line first line is hash include space open angle bracket and stdio.h close angle bracket now this statement is known as pre-processing directive statement now what is pre-processing directive statement now this line is very essential in the source code that we type actually without this line the program will not work now the hash symbol in front of the statement indicates it's a pre-processing directive statement pre-processing directive statements are like instructions that are provided to the compiler to do something before compiling the source code so actually this statement will do something before compile in the rest of the code usually what the compiler does uh, it will handles these directives uh, during the initial process of the compilation and after the pre-processing uh, state it will continue to the compilation process of the rest of the code in this example the particular pre-processing uh, directive statement will include a file name stdio.h this is actually a header file the name header file is given because uh, usually these header files are placed at the beginning or the head of the source code now inside the stdio.header file there are some useful functions that are provided to the application we created and you must know that these uh, header files are located in the C standard library uh, C has a uh, standard library files shipped along with uh, the compiler so stdio.h header file is uh, a one particular file located in this uh, standard C library files in our source code we use a function called printf and this printf function is defined inside the stdio header file so that is why we should use the header file in the pre-processing directive statement to include it into the source code before we use the printf function so this step is very important and if you don't include the header file before using the printf function it will raise errors when you compile the program another important thing you must understand here that stdio refers to standard input output so this particular header file defines the functions and other related program objects that are related to input and output functionality of a C program 